Andras has created a number of fantastic GNS3 appliances, and he's done it again. This time he's created a Docker DNS GNS3 appliance. This allows you to easily add DNS servers to your GNS3 topologies. In GNS3, go to Browse All Devices and search Available Appliances for the DNS appliance. In my example, it's not showing yet because this is not available yet in GNS3, but should be available when you do the search. If it's not, however, go to gns3.com, go to Marketplace, Appliances, and search for the DNS appliance. Click on the appliance and click Download to download the appliance to your local computer. Then in GNS3, go to File, Import Appliance. In this example, I'm using a Mac, but the process is very similar in Windows. Select the downloaded appliance and click Open. The Add Appliance wizard will display. We're told that this appliance provides DNS services using DNS Mask with the local domain set to Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a basic DNS server using DNS Mask. Andrush has made this process very easy, but if you need more information about how to change the appliance, do a search in Google for DNS Mask and have a look at the documentation on how to set this up. The software doesn't just support DNS, it also allows you to set up a DHCP server, as well as do other things. This appliance is going to be available in the guest category. It's a DNS server. It's using Ubuntu. The maintainer is Andrush. And again, thanks to him for all his hard work creating these appliances. I'm going to click Next. The appliance needs to run on the GNS3 VM. You need to have your GNS3 GUI integrated with the GNS3 VM. Have a look at my other videos if you're not sure how to configure and integrate the GNS3 VM with the GNS3 GUI. I'm going to click Next. The console type used is Telnet. That makes it very easy to set up. The Docker container image is shown here. You may want to take a note of that name for future reference if you need to delete this appliance and upgrade it. Click Next. Make a note of this information. Andrush has made it very easy. He tells us that we need to edit the Etsy hosts file and we can add a new domain name or new host name using this format. So as an example, IP address of router, fully qualified domain name and name of router. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to save it so that I've got it as a reference. Click Finish. The DNS appliance has been installed in GNS3. So under End Hosts, under Available Appliances, I now see DNS. Under Installed Appliances, I also have DNS because I installed it using a downloaded appliance. If you're not using the downloaded appliance, simply drag this appliance to the workspace to go through the installation wizard. I'm not going to do that because my appliance is not available. So I'm going to manually download it from the GNS3 website. Now that the appliance is available as an installed appliance, I can drag it to the workspace. So I'm going to drag it to the workspace and notice what happens. GNS3 is doing a pull from Docker and is essentially downloading and installing this GNS3 appliance and making it available to my GNS3 installation. This is the great thing about Docker. It really simplifies the installation of additional servers and appliances in GNS3. There you go. Success pulling the image from Docker. So my DNS server is now available and I can use it as part of my GNS3 topologies. I'll add some additional devices to my GNS3 network. I'll add a NAT cloud that's not required. That simply allows me to get internet access. 
I'll add a GNS3 Ethernet switch to the topology. And to prove that the DNS server is working, I'll add some Cisco routers to the topology. These are Cisco IOS V routers. I'll connect the devices up. I'm not too worried about making the topology look pretty. I simply want to show you how to use this DNS server. So you can make the topology look good if you like. I'm once again not too worried about that. So what I'll do is start up my GNS3 topology. Now you can edit the configuration of this appliance by right clicking on it and going to edit config and changing the configuration through this interface. Some people have had problems doing that. So rather than doing that, I'm gonna open up a console to the DNS appliance. Notice we can see that the DNS forwarder and DNS server has started. But if I use IF config, I can see that no IP address is allocated to the container. So I'm gonna edit Etsy network interfaces with nano, and I'm going to uncomment these lines, and I'm gonna manually configure the DNS server as 192.168.122.250. Default gateway, I'm gonna to set to that. That's the NAT cloud. And I'm gonna set up a name server as the NAT cloud. You could use DHCP if you wanted to, but the problem with that is every time you start up a GNS3 or start up the Docker appliance, the IP address will change. So cat Etsy network interfaces. This is the configuration of my ethernet interface. I'll close the console and I'm gonna turn off the DNS server appliance and I'm gonna start it up again and I'll open up consoles to all the devices. DNS server has started. IF config shows us the IP address of the server. I should be able to ping the NAT cloud, which I can. I should be able to ping google.com, which I can. So I've got IP connectivity on the DNS server. Let's configure some DNS names. Undrush once again told us to use this format in Etsy hosts. So nano Etsy hosts. Examples already show here, but 192.168.122, and let's configure the first router as 200. We'll call it R1 lab and R1, 192.168.122.201. And let's actually do it this way, R2, lab, R2. Now you don't have to do it with a fully qualified domain name. You could simply do it that way if you wanted to, but if you wanna use both the fully qualified domain name as well as a simple name like this, then put both entries in your hosts file. So I'll exit out of there and save the file. So let's ping R1. Notice that resolves but doesn't work because R1 hasn't been configured yet. Same is true for R2. Ping R1.lab resolves but doesn't work. Ping R2.lab resolves but doesn't work. So now we need to configure the routers with IP addresses and configure them to use the DNS server.